Hi everyone, in this video I talk about truth tree analysis. In particular, I'll talk about how to recover an interpretation from a completed open branch. So first off, the thing to note about analysis is that truth trees can be used or employed to check sets of propositions, single propositions, or arguments for various properties that we might be interested in. So suppose your friend makes an argument and you want to know whether or not his argument is valid or invalid. So you might try to imagine the premises being true and the conclusion false. But another way you could do this is to make use of the truth tree method, which is a mechanical method. Using truth trees, though, requires you to know how to do the following. First, you'll need to know how to set up the truth tree in a specific way to test for the property that you're interested in. That is, if you're interested in valid or invalid, or as opposed to consistency or inconsistency, there's a specific way to set up the truth tree in order to test for this property. Next, you'll need to know how to decompose the tree. That is, you'll need to know how to make use of the various decomposition rules to display the conditions under which various formulas are true. Third, you'll have to be able to determine whether a tree is a completed open tree or a closed tree. And then finally, you'll need to know what a completed open tree or closed tree tells you about the set of formulas in the tree. That is, you'll need to know whether or not a completed open tree tells you that an argument is valid or invalid. Perhaps the most important idea with respect to truth tree analysis is what a completed open branch tells us. Another way to think about this is what, is, what can we get from a completed open branch? Well, what we can get from a completed open branch is an interpretation of the propositional letters that compose the well-formed formulas that are found in the branch. And this interpretation would make all of the well-formed formulas in the branch true. To put this in a different way, from a completed open branch, we can assign truth values, T or F, to the letters that compose all of the formulas in the branch so that all of those formulas would co come out true. So how do we do this? How do we obtain an interpretation from a completed open branch? Well, the method is quite simple once the tree has been fully decomposed. What we'll do is isolate the formulas that cannot be decomposed. These are the literal well-formed formulas. We'll assign a value of t to the propositional letters that are found in atomic well-formed formulas, and a value of f to the propositional letters that are found in the negated atomic well-formed formulas. So it's helpful to look at an example. So imagine that p, q, and not r are the literal well-formed formulas found in a completed open branch. We can obtain an interpretation by assigning true to the propositional letters that are found in atomic well-formed formulas and false to the propositional letters found in the negated atomic well-formed formulas. In other words, if we have P, Q, and not R in a branch, we'll assign P a value of true, Q a value of true, and R a value of false. So let's look at an example of this. Suppose we have the following tree. We have two formulas to start, and those formulas are decomposed at lines 3, 4, and 5. Once we fully decompose the tree, we see that one of the branches is a completed open branch. That is, it's a branch where all the propositions that can be decomposed have been decomposed, and there's not a proposition P and its literal negation not P found in the branch. The literal well-formed formulas in this open branch are M, R, and P, and we can assign these formulas truth values, that is we can assign them an interpretation by assigning true to the propositional letters of atomic well-formed formulas and false to the propositional letters found in negated well-formed formulas. Here we only have atomic well-formed formulas M, R, and P, and so we can assign M, R, and P a value of true. Now once we've assigned M, R, and P a value of true, this interpretation would make not only M, R, and P true, but also lines one and two true. And so just to kind of test this, you could see that if P was true and R was true, then the conjunction P and R would also be true because a conjunction is true provided both of the conjuncts are true. And if since P is true and R is true, the conjunction is true. Two, we have a disjunction M or not P. Now we know a disjunction is true provided either one of the disjuncts are true. 
and, and if m is true, like the interpretation says, then the disjunction m or not p is also true. So here we've assigned truth values to the propositional letters that would make all of the formulas in the completed open branch true.